Hey, well, I'm here today with my friend Jonathan Hardy of Leaders.Church, and uh, he's a pastor, church consultant, uh, and a good friend of mine. So I appreciate you making some time to, to be with me today and to talk about My Counselor Online. And for pastors, leaders that maybe are watching this, I definitely, I want to plug the Leaders.Church, because if you haven't checked it out yet, it's an incredible resource. It's like Netflix for pastors, and just is a venue where you can have uh, fresh content on navigating church growth uh, served up to you on your phone, on your computer, wherever it is that you're at. So definitely worth checking out. But we're, we're talking about My Counselor Online. So Jonathan, as a, as a pastor, you're on staff at a church, you've been on staff at Mega Church, you've been at, on staff in a church plant setting, uh, and you've consulted with churches across the country of all different sizes. Um, I'm, my question to you is a resource like My Counselor Online that allows uh, pastors to be able to connect confidentially with the counselor to work on their own personal growth and performance stuff, as well as as a resource for them to refer their staff to mm -hmm. uh, or their parishioners to. Uh, how do you see that fitting into the body and being a resource to pastors? Well, first, Josh, thanks for letting me uh, jump on here with you. Yeah, I think it's massive. Um, it, just as you've, ex you know, you had explained to me the ideas that you had uh, over the last um, number of months and, and beyond. It's just amazing to think that how it's, you know, the, the power in this, especially with online today. I mean, people now are used to going online for all kinds of stuff. I mean, the, the whole and being in front of screens is no longer an intimidating thing or a weird thing. And it's, it's very personal. And um, in times past when early on, it, you know, it didn't feel like you, you felt like you had to be face to face with people. But now more, more than ever, we realize you don't have to be face to face and you can still have great conversation. And uh, we've done that uh, uh, you and I together. And, and so, for, for pastors uh, and even for people within the church, this is a powerful, powerful tool. tool. Uh, having worked with you know, hundreds of pastors and having tons of them be a part of uh, leaders.church, one of the things we see and we know, and, and being a pastor myself, I know you want to, you want to uh, maintain a, a level of confidentiality in your own life. I mean, obviously, when you're preaching, you're not airing all of your own dirty laundry, but we know we're all, we're all human. We're all sinners. We all have things we're dealing with as, as pastors, as ministry leaders. And this to me is a powerful opportunity for pastors to, to get help, to get counsel, to get advice in a way that's confidential. You don't have to worry about going to a counseling office where you may see someone else that's um, in your church and, oh, hey, pastor, what are you doing here? And, you know, realize, realizing, oh, yeah, I'm, well, I'm, you know, got this going on in my life. You don't, you don't have to um, expose yourself to that. And, you know, obviously there's people look up to a pastor and sometimes that's not necessarily the best thing in terms of uh, putting a pastor on a pedestal, but it is a reality. And so pastors have to figure out, okay, well, how can I still be um, growing individually or, or with my marriage, my family, and so on and so forth. And this to me just, Josh, this is just a, a huge opportunity for pastors especially, but of course, anyone as well. So yeah, I love it, man. Yeah, we're super excited about it. You know, I think so often those barriers uh, to reaching out and getting help cause folks to delay uh, when until small things that could easily be addressed and quickly be addressed you know, grow into something that uh, really detracts from the effectiveness of the minister and what it is they're trying to do. And the, the enemy loves to create that scenario. So we're, yeah. we're believing the same thing. So true. Yeah. One other question for you, Jonathan, sure. just personally, uh, why do you feel comfortable uh, giving a reference for my counselor online, for us, for me? What is it about the way we do things that, that gives you that confidence? Well, um, I could share stories, but, you know, Josh and I go back uh, to our Bible college days and uh, known each other for quite some time and did a lot of ministry together over the years and uh, the same church together. And so it's just awesome to be able to see what, what you are doing now um, in this, this kind of this next phase of uh, counseling and, and, and ministering to people. And, and so, yeah, I, I, I mean, 100% feel like you are 
perfect for this and who better to start it than you. And so for those listening, I mean, I just can't give enough um, great, you know, thoughts and words toward Josh and the team, you know, and the reason is um, he's a man of God uh, mm-hmm. and, and the desire of the counseling and the things that they do, it is, it's based upon the Bible. It's not just psychology. Uh, it's not just uh, thought or the latest, you know, self-help stuff. And there's a place for all of that, but it's all rooted in scripture and the Bible. Well, what's the Bible say as it relates to these things? And that's why I think for, uh, for Josh, and if you, if you're looking to maybe tap into this yourself, you need to seriously give this consideration because, um, Josh is the real deal. Their team's the real deal. And they, um, they don't take this lightly. I mean, this is a very serious thing. And, uh, and so it's, it's obviously a great opportunity, uh, to, to be able to, be a part of it. And, and so that's why I'd say if you, if you're thinking about it, you need to do it for sure. So. I appreciate that, Jonathan. You know, our heart is to be a blessing to the kingdom and to the body and to be a resource to pastors in the place of ministry that they're at. And so I appreciate yeah. you carving out some time just to share your thoughts on it and uh, maybe encourage pastors that are looking for a resource for themselves, their family, their staff, or their, their parishioners that, uh, you know, this could be a, a tool for them. So yeah, absolutely, man. You. I'm excited for it. And we'll talk to you later. All right. Take care.